We're looking down on your microgrid down here, which uh, you guys have put together for Crusoe, the AI infrastructure firm. Explain to me in layman's terms so people understand. These are old EV battery packs down here that are harnessing and then providing the energy for the uh, data center, correct? They are. This behind us here is an array of hundreds of old automotive battery packs that we've architected and connected all together to create its own microgrid and power this AI training data center. We have a lot of people who have EVs, and they're coming maybe after eight or nine years, and they're saying, look, it only has 50% capacity to charge. This thing is old. It's going to die on me. That doesn't mean it's a dead battery, correct? No, there's still a lot of usable energy storage left. Even at 50% capacity, we can make very productive use of that in this type of application. So as you look at this, are we at a point right now, even with the slowdown in EV sales, where we're starting to see the ramp up in the demand or the supply of recycled EV batteries? Well, for us, it, it's really uh, oriented around what happened a couple years ago. And there are millions of EVs already on the roads today. So that's what's feeding this kind of growth. And we're seeing doubling every year in the amount of material coming into us. And now you know there's going to be people who will look at this and they'll say, well, that's fine, but you can just do uh, a, a microgrid or you can do some kind of a, a power setup for a data center. And you can make, be much larger and hook right into the grid. Why does this make more sense? Well, a couple of the key reasons are speed. We were able to do this uh, in about four months of construction. Uh, this is operating outside of the grid, so we didn't put any extra stress on the grid. And, and that's key for the AI growth today, is to be able to get access to more power quickly. This is a way to do that.